On this Labor Day, those in the workforce may begin to see one pandemic perk coming to an end. Corporations, businesses, mom and pop businesses nationwide are setting new return to work policies. But as CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports, that does not mean employees are ready or willing to return. Labor Day signals back to work, but many of those who labor want bosses to back off demands they return to the office. I think it's working really well, and the thought of commuting again and being on the train in the time that I would lose to that. Many say they'll look elsewhere if there is an ultimatum, citing improved health and the environment. More emphasis on life in the work-life balance. My office is in my car, in my home, in my kitchen. I'm spending time with my son when I have a break in between clients. Yet companies are eager to get back to face-to-face -to -face collaboration, focus, accountability. It's time now to come back into the office. But the head of Career Life Alliance Services says there's a big disconnect between what management may demand and employees want. That's something they need to really think about. Why are you asking people back? They have better physical health, better mental health, uh, better work-life balance. It's hard to argue with those outcomes as an organization. In one study, 97% of remote workers said it should stay that way. Other studies have shown increased productivity. Yes, much more. I work for myself. I set my own hours. I do as much work as, I'm, as I want to do when I want to do it. John Mitchell's about to start a hybrid job. I know that being human requires us to interact with one another. Employers have struggled with things like performance management, holding employees accountable. HR consultant John Coverdale advises companies to open a dialogue with valued workers so they feel some ownership over upcoming changes. Have. Um, collaborative, trust-centered conversations with employees um, to help determine time frames for a hybrid or full return to the workplace. Some jobs were always headed toward remote work. Experts say the pandemic sped it up by at least a decade. Now, with changed values, remote work in some form is here to stay. On Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.